Okay, Debbie. You got this. No, I mean, I don't know. I mean, look at the bulgy thing on the head. Maybe that's like like an entire drivetrain. It's got the spring on it. Oh my god, maybe it's like a, a suspension from like one of those giant dump trucks you see. I don't know. Did you look up truck parts? I Look, if I look up truck parts, I'm going to see nothing but ads for truck parts. Fine, fine. It's just like my father all over again. Why, hello there. Oh my god, <sighs> Debbie, don't move. Yeah? I think there's a mummy there. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I thought it was funny too. He does smell like cardamom. I do not know what that smells like. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I suppose we're bound to meet in time. And if there's one thing I have an excess of, it's time. If there's two, it's time and vices. But you, strong and silent, aren't really my type. Oh, oh God. Ugh. Let's walk a moment. We don't need any more bugs crawling into our mouths, hmm? Uh -huh. <sighs> Earthquakes, plagues, locusts. I know what you're thinking, but I'll tell you what you should be thinking. What can I get out of this? And take it from me. A mummified corpse in a 12,000 pound suit. This isn't biblical, it's local. You need to Our get entire that dry cleaned. culture was obsessed with eternity and the high cost of dying. Men queuing up to cross over, animals guarding the threshold, returning gods and demons. Musical chairs of the soul. So there will always be hangers on, like the Abe, a locust god, not a capital G god. The Maria have documented its exploits, they document everything. There's a library east of the village. Ever banished a minor deity? It could be downright educational for you, a real opportunity. I should charge for this. All right. It's on the house. You're killing me. Buddy, I killed, like, a pretty major deity. Well, okay, didn't kill him, but... You, you kind of smacked him around a bit. He ain't doing so hot these days. You know, you should talk to the 12,000-year-old mummy. He might know what those things are. Oh, yeah. Why, hello there. I doubt he knows that. But, or at least, I doubt he cares about that. Well, you never know. Yo, it's root of stare, is it not? Oh, the expression on your face. I know, I know. You see this desiccated flesh like old tea leaves and cannot comprehend how it's dressed in Milanese silk. I mean, I, d I don't think she even noticed. Here's the skinny. We of the kingdom were merchant princes once, are now and always will be. A prince is accustomed to little luxuries and big ones. Over the rise and fall of civilizations, I've become quite desensitized to tasteful restraint. This afterlife has proved very different to the one that I was expecting. One of the few shortcomings of the dynastic private schooling system. But for a businessman, a deal broker, it is glorious. Infinite potential for profit and so many pleasurable distractions. Mm -hmm. Okay, who taught the ancient Egyptians capitalism? I'm gonna blame the British. That's a good idea. Probably dug them up too. Yep.
Okay, let's get. I have to get a good look at this thing. What is it? Okay. Yeah, see, that's. Yeah, that's like a big old suspension thingy. Shock absorber, that's what they're called. I gotta admit, that is a new one on the Improvised Weaponry Bingo card. It's actually pretty smart. And, yeah, because it's like easier on, uh, on like their arms? No, yeah, because like, um, just a random thing. If you want to make swords, you don't, the, the steel you use the same grade of steel used in truck suspension. Really? I did yeah. not know that. I might have also studied the blade. Ah! I knew it! While I was studying the blade, you were also studying the blade. Well, I had to make... I wanted to make sure that it was good, high-quality steel. And you know what? Not the stainless steel crap, because that is, like, the worst stuff ever. Uh... I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't. I've seen a sword you carry. It is only because it's only because of my leaked anima that you're able to wield that thing effectively. Look, I bought this at an anime convention. It's got all the powers of a soul reaper. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see what's up with this. Uh... Locust God. What is it? What's his name again? Arbe? I've already forgotten. Arbe. Yeah, Arbe. Don't look at your contacts while they're ghouls around. <laughs> God, their necks. That's like the. Ooh. It's like everything else I'm fine with, but not those big, weird, skull-encompassing necks. It's almost a cephalothorax. Yeah, yeah. It's almost that thing you just said. I mean, like the big ones. Look at that. Look at the. Look at the fat ones. Like their head practically comes right out of their chest. <laughs> Look like strong sad. Or strong mad, I mean. Strong mad, not strong sad. <laughs> they don't have there. I just picture though a strong sad ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit you really hard. Okay. Let's see. Where is this archive? I'm Okay, so these are. Let's find out more about these things. Do we have. By killing them. Like how to kill them? Well, I mean, if I'm about to go up on against a locust god, I should probably know a thing or two about these locust things. Good idea. Get some research in. For one thing, I've noticed that they produce this really nasty acid. Okay, sure. They also do this thing where. But they can also regenerate, but they have to, like, actively pause to regenerate. Oh god, they got mouths like bull squids from Half-Life. Oh yeah, they do. Yikes. They don't seem to actually fly, though. No, it's probably... probably Probably like, you know, something like the square cube law and shit. These things actually follow that law? Uh. 
Well, it might be like they're, I don't know, they're magical creatures, but they have to follow some rules in order to exist in, in this dimension? I, I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Weird. Yeah. You know, just a couple seconds after I, like, after they die, like, this, their, their carapace, which is, like, iron before, yeah. suddenly becomes kind of squishy and, like, breaks easily, Ooh. just, like, seconds after they die. Maybe that's, maybe they need, like, magic to sustain their form, you know? You know, like, Jeez. So yeah, that's uh, that makes sense. And like maybe the the, the magic only extends as far as their form. Like yeah. you can't actually break the laws of physics in any way. Yeah, at least not. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Jeez. Ah. Uh, okay, that's the thing they can do. Yeah. Okay. They can. They can produce sort of a frequency with their wings that knocks me the fuck out. They can't make the brown note, can they? Um, uh, no. All right. Uh, definitely not a brown note. Yeah. Oh, my God, so many of them. Did they ever end? Like a horde of locusts. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I should come in. I might need backup. Oh. Uh, why what? not? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Okay. I'm just... It is hard to keep down because they... Because if I give them a moment's rest, they start to heal. <sighs> but they have to actively heal. That's something interesting. That's odd. You don't normally... Like you have to... You don't... Stop for a second to regrow. You don't normally have to concentrate on that. Oh, they do. Hmm, hmm speaking of laws of physics. Yeah. Look at that. Ha! Look, that's clearly the Ark of the Covenant. It can do what it wants. We see the locusts! A fable, sweetling, if you choose to believe. Once long ago, a powerful Illuminati magician came to the land of Egypt to free his cabal from bondage to a powerfully cruel pharaoh. He called down ten plagues upon the land. He did this by binding ten powerful spirits to his cause. In time, this story was translated and altered, recorded into a quite famous book. If you choose to believe. Well, now. That... That raises some questions. Especially considering we just met a guy from... From that. <sighs> In time, most of the spirits summoned by that Illuminati Magi dissipated back to the Hell Worlds whence they came. One did not. Arbe the locust. This malign creature possessed swarms of locusts and took great pleasure in stripping the land of food and flesh. Arbe continued in this way for millennia, cycles of feasting and slumber. Now in dark days, Arba is more awake than ever. Every swarm or giant insect is, in fact, animated by the same intelligence like individual fingers on a hand. In the before, they are all rich men, merchants, nobles, and priests, living the lives in the golden age of the land of the pharaohs. But death is blind to wealth. These men of affluence obsess over immortality and afterlife access. Their coin buys potent rituals. Something goes horribly right. Something goes horribly wrong. A bizarre accident. 
The spark of life hibernates within their mummified husks. Time passes, first in years, then in decades. Their souls rebuild, spirits ever living, flesh ever dead. They open their shriveled eyes. Oh, the shock. Oh, the best laid plans. Well, that's a little different. Yeah, it is. That's... That's, that's, that's not very... That's not standard Egyptian iconography there. Well, it might be something related to Apophis. Or a pep, or however you pronounce it. The giant tongue. Or Steve Tyler. Okay, yeah, the tongue... The tongue is new. Wait, Steve Tyler on the tongue, or... No, no G, I think that's Gene Simmons. Or Mick Jagger. Yeah. One of them. No, it's definitely Gene Simmons. That's his thing. Mick Jagger's got okay, the lips. Okay, so I fucked that Steve one up. T yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know. They're all old. Yeah, they are. They're very old. And, and I don't think I've ever seen the three of them in the same place. Altar of Learning. Okay, so... The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Oh my god, no! No! You, it can't be! But it is! It is! <laughs> no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we are never gonna get that trip to Orlando. Ah, oh, okay, look, they show a pretty good clean diagram, though, so that's, you know, easy. Once I put it together... This thing appears, and then and then I have to use this thing to destroy that thing. Okay, so what they're saying is we could get the exact same effect by doing nothing. So let me just go pick up the thing that we need. I love the little Egyptian guy Whoa! looking like the Ikea man. Oh, um, this is... Hi? Oh, I think he's absorbing the force field, maybe? What's he doing? He's definitely absorbing it. Oh, that's new. Yeah. Man, Rita is real is not fucking around with the putties this season. Jeez. Were they in the movie? I, I didn't yeah. see them. Oh yeah, they were actually pretty badass in the movie. Really? Yeah, they were like, you know, uh, like, like mo just like, they didn't all look the same. They all looked like monstrous accumulations of of stone and rubble and shit. Cool. Yeah, they actually... What's this about her eating gold? Oh, yeah, yeah. She... <laughs> okay, yeah, so she's cut. So she's kind of like a gold-eating witch gremlin. Because she has to activate... She, she needs all the gold to create Goldar, who she uses to, uh, f to dig up the Zeo crystal, which is, of course, in Angel Grove, and, of course... Under the Krispy Kreme. Okay, I need to see. This. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Like they spend a lot of time okay. with the kids, you know. Like Earth artifact fragment. Let's focus on. Yeah, uh, that's a fine diversion. Let's try to focus yeah. just a little bit. Sorry, I, mean, I just try. I just, we'll fail, but we'll yeah. try. I just really enjoyed the Power Rangers movie. Now, if only they bring back tattooed teenage alien fighters from Beverly Hills. I will never understand that. I will never understand your love for that. It was good. All right, you know, I may, I may have to check it out on YouTube. Just, just to see with my own eyes. I mean, either way, it can't be worse than that Ninja Turtle show they did. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, 
Venus to Milo. Set, set, scale these back ten years. <laughs> that actually got completely banished from the big Turtles multiverse crossover they did. Not e hmm. not even recognized by the universe. Okay, is that a barcode? This floor, no, it's the heat. This floor should be really hot. I should be burning, but it's, I'm not. And yet you can't even go out in the sun. I don't know. It's because I'm a ginger. Yeah. But this floor is like, it's glowing. It's, it is literally red hot, but it's not burning me. Yeah. Look, there's fire coming out of here. Weird. That is very weird. Maybe, definitely, maybe like the black stone is some kind of super heat resistor. I don't know. Because like, it's the edges that are glowing, oh. but not the, the surface. Lava. Have I met a lava golem before? I don't know. I don't believe we have. This is definitely a new kind yeah. of golem. I mean, it's, it's pretty badass. It's like its own mention in the monster manual. <laughs> uh, but like only the cracks are glowing, so this is like you know, when you're in a hallway and you're like, okay, no, can't step on a can't step on a crack. Must step on only one tile at the same time. That was training for this moment. Fire artifact fragment. Okay. I'm sensing a theme here. Are we gonna fight a water golem? Maybe. I don't know what an air Is... golem would be. That's just kind of. Is a water golem? Do water golems exist? You could maybe make an ice. I mean, you could make an ice golem, or a snow limb. <laughs> like that Calvin and Hobbes so story. Attack of the deranged killer mutant snow goons. Come on, stop. Mm. Oh man, what if what if these were like the Old Testament locusts? It makes sense why people are so fucking terrified of them. Yeah. I mean, even ordinary locusts, terrifying, but this is like, phew. I mean, we can see why they call them locusts, because you I mean, even though they look nothing like locusts, it's yeah. not the closest thing they could get to them, you know? It's calling a smurp a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they happen to have no other, no other uh, frame of reference, so it's like kind of like locusts. Things are really relative in the back, in the back, back then. Like uh, that's why some there's such there's a debate over over Genghis Khan's hair color. And what is there a debate about whether or not he was actually John Wayne? Well, see, it's not. As Silly as you think, because he. Some people think he would actually have blonde or red hair. But those are from descriptions of people who had like darker hair. So. What about him being an anime girl? I have not seen that yet. It's it's out there. It, it is more of a fringe theory. Hmm. And that would be a uh, that would be an ice golem. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's, okay, honestly, like the lava golem was terrifying, and the earth golem and the uncanny valley thing, but this just looks cute, you know? It's like this. What's it's that like, glowing? Yeah, in? it's like the snowman 
your your little brother makes when he doesn't really know how to make a good snowman. Maybe if you put your magic hat on him, he'll come- Whoa, oh whoa, my god. whoa, 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 Oh my god, it's- it's- What? 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 <laughs> it's someone's- it's someone's babies! Someone sell juniors! It died and it made babies! <laughs> it's an asteroids monster. Oh, it better not break- these better not break up any smaller. Well, I mean, if they- if they break up small enough, you can just step on them. True. Oh, great. I am soaked. I should go back to the fire room. No, wait, it's not actually warm in there. I mean, you you know, you, you're in a desert. You might want to enjoy the water while you can. That's true. It does feel kind of nice. Yeah. Is it warm in there? Oh, or God, is my, it... oh mm. it just it just sank into my mm. handies. Ugh. Frosty the snow lamb. I'm gonna go out in a limb here and guess that this one is gonna be the air guardian. Yep. Let's go punch us a cloud. Well, they were all corrupted in mm. some way, so. So maybe it'll just be smog or something. <laughs> I guess it, this is a really weird episode of Captain Planet. I mean, not as weird as the one where he actually met Hitler. That must have been one of the later seasons. I don't even know. I mean... I'm pretty sure Kwame had lines in it, so it can't have been that late. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess season six. It's always season it six. It is always season six. Oh god, he's got an entry in the villains wiki. Adolf Hitler, F Captain Planet. Wow. Okay. Moving on, what's... And, uh, oh, great, it's another bug golem. Episode five of season six. You called it. Called it! <laughs> it's a bug golem again. Fucking bugs. That's... That is not the theme. It could be wind or clouds or... I would even accept hail. Well, we're dealing with a freaking locust god, so you know what? But then again, these were put in place by the Mario, but now then, then again again, they've been corrupted, so who knows? Don't know what the rules for golems are. not a bad idea though like a swarm of bugs golem we should bring that up to my dm okay all right now we just gotta i'm just gonna go put it together and i'm i swear to god i'm gonna get right not, not gonna i'm not gonna silver monkey yet <laughs> It's it sounded like you said I'm not going to stuff a monkey in it. There we go. I got it right. First try. Real oh, that's no fun. Or Oh no. Nope. I just took one of mine. And... Oh god, the t Oh, it's self-assembling. That's cool. The temple guardians. You need to give them your medallion. They were literally just any old stagehand they shoved in the costume. Those really, they, they, they actually literally traumatized kids. Yeah. I remember one time a kid just jumped straight out of the maze. Okay, I got one male left. 
Alright. See, see, I don't even... See, I don't even... I guess I didn't have to put them together. It's because now they're combining themselves. You didn't disassemble my hard work just so you could combine it again. Fuck you, Temple. <laughs> and ancient temples are dicks. If it's not this, it's some giant boulder coming out, and then... You may like you have to spell someone's name, but oh no, no, an Aramaic, you began with a Y, you fuckers. Why did you even have the J on there? The fuck with people? But they wouldn't even know what the J was when they were making it. It had The J hadn't been invented yet. Well, no, it was the Templars. It was the Templars who made it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they knew what it was. They just put. They literally just put the J there to fuck with people. Goddamn Templars. Wait, are we talking about Indiana Jones or, or shit that you went that happened to you? Yes. Okay. Good to know. Mm. Chosen of Arbe. Yep, I believe that. Oh, I never noticed how hollow they are on the inside. Look at Ooh. that. Oh. I could put my finger I could put my hand through them, but I'm not going to do that. You were just walking right through that one. Okay, 